Hey. hey guys, welcome back to my channel and yes, I am not wearing makeup today. That is because um, it's actually going to be a very quick video, but I wanted to share with you how I get rid of my black hats or white hats, like especially around my nose and like this area right here. Um, I use a pore strip once a week and trust me, I have tried I think almost every pore strip out there, well not every single one, but a lot of them and there is just one that really works for me. I used to order my pore strips at eBay uh, because it was cheaper, but I think I ordered fake ones and that is because I used the Biore one and this one I bought at my local drugstore. and since a few months they sell it there and before they didn't sell it in Holland maybe online but it was cheaper to buy it on eBay but I think it was just fake because it didn't work that good but this is bomb so what I'm going to do is I have this bowl of very very hot water can you see that if it's hot yeah do you look at my hair there you can see it it's boiling water and I have a towel so what I always do is I am going to steam my face by going like this putting the towel on my head and then you know making sure that all my pores are open and my skin is very nicely steamed and then I am going to apply the pore strip I'm sorry but it's not possible for me to show you but it's like this is the bowl and then I go like this you know, so that I'm steaming my face, but um, I'm actually pretty scared to move too much with this because it's very hot and I want to show you how I get rid of my pores and not how to burn yourself. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to steam my face for about five to six minutes and then I'll be right back. Oh my God, hold up. Wait, maybe you should see a close up of my face. Hello. A lot of people will be like, yeah, but you have good skin and your skin is so smooth. Yes, I have nothing to complain. I don't have extreme dark circles. Um, I do have some freckles, but um, I'm actually pretty pleased. But this is my problem area and I'm going to show you why. So if you're ready to be like all up in my space, then keep on watching. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Yes, I'm going to do my nails tomorrow. But around here. I want to take a makeup picture using this camera. It's an HD camera. I always see those uh, bumps. Like when you use your normal camera, you won't be able to see it. And in real life, sometimes you will be able to see it if you stand close to me, but it's there and it needs to be gone. Hey. <sighs> Ooh. Hot. Alrighty, so my face is steamed. I'm sweating like hell right now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to wet my towel with some warm water. Not cool water because you don't want to cool off your face. Use some hot water just to clean it because now it's just sweat and it's terrible. But you want to keep it hot and then we're going to move on to applying the pore strip. Okay, so this is what it looks like and you just have to put it onto your nose. Wet your nose with some hot water. I just wet it with my hands. That's much easier. Okay, so make sure that you press it really good to your nose, like a sticker, so there are no loose ends. Okay, so now that the pore strip is on, I am going to wait for about 10 minutes until this strip is completely dry, like it's very hard, and then comes my favorite part, which is peeling it off. I'll be right back. Okay, so it has been six minutes, and this is completely dry, it's completely hard, and let's remove it. And what I like to do is pull it like this, so you can really get every dirt what's in there out there, instead of going like this. It's a bit more painful, but it works, trust me. Okay, let's zoom this in. Okay. 
Okay, now that I'm almost sick looking at that pore strip because I hate looking at it. Uh, it makes me sick even though I know it's my own nose, but oh, I don't like it. I'm taking some hot water again and removing all that is left on my nose. And then it's time to deep clean the nose area. And to do so, I am going to use the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment, which is one of my favorites uh, along with the MAC one. But I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit more like aggressive. Can I say that? Like it cleans your pores very, very good. And that's why I like it. You can apply it on your entire face. I am not going to do that today. And trust me you guys take good care of your nose and your face it is so important your makeup will look better um sometimes you don't even need makeup or you know less makeup so it is important i'm gonna wait until this is completely dry and that will take about 10 minutes i think okay so the mask is dry except for this area right here i think i just apply too much but as you can tell like i oof i I cannot even look at this. It's still gross. It just gives me goosebumps. Let's remove it. That feels nice. And then to close the pores and, you know, to give my face that boost, I'm taking a ice cube. I want to say a very cold one, but alrighty. I'm just going over it. I know it's cold, but it's one of my favorite things to do and you will see that if you do this like two to three times a week you will definitely see a difference in your face like but you got to be careful because it's cold you can also just wrap it um around your towel if it's too cold for your hands do you know whatever pleases you but i think having an ice cube on your face it just it's so refreshing, especially if you have like bags underneath your eyes. It will definitely help. Alrighty guys, so that was my quick video on how I remove black hats, white hats. I know that I didn't remove everything, um, but a lot of it in my nose feels extremely soft right now. And please, you, I think everyone needs to do this like once a week. It will keep your face very clean and smooth. And if you're going to apply makeup, the makeup will look better. And if your skin is smooth, you don't need that much makeup. So that's a pretty good thing, right? Anyway, that was my routine. If you have other tips on how to remove black hats, white hats, please let me know in the comments down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And that's it. I will talk to you soon.